Hey, it's Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. We're here this morning to visit a friend of ours in the little town of Comunidades. This is about 25 minutes south of Vilcabamba. She has a wonderful retreat center here, beautiful farm, a big uh, uh, farm out here in, in the middle of nowhere, really. But this is a great place. Can't wait for you to see it. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here with us today. So I'm here in the village of Comunidades with my good friend Raquel Vivar. <laughs> Raquel, thank you for having us here today. Thank you, but get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Raquel and I are good friends and I'm friends with her brother Jose Pablo and his girlfriend Christina. And that's how I met her and she's been a wonderful friend to us. <laughs> and so she has a wonderful place here. It's called Casa Hacienda La Sofia. And so it's a retreat center, and mm -hmm. she lives here at the retreat center, and she has some wonderful things that she offers here. Raquel, can you tell us how long you've lived in the Loja province? Well, I'm born in Loja, and, uh, but I live in Loja just uh, 18 years, and I go to live in other places. And I come back five years ago. And I live uh, here in this uh, little town, beautiful place. <laughs> so yeah. La Raquel's uh, father used to be the mayor of Loja. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many years ago was that? Uh, he was just uh, four years. Yeah. yeah. He and was there four years, but how long uh, antes? Um, uh, 20 years ago. 20, 20 I, years no, ago. No, no, more. 30 more, years ago. 30 years ago. Yeah. 30 años. Yeah, 30 años, yeah. So her father um, was a beloved mayor. People still talk about him, and when I meet people and I mention the name, mm -hmm. you go, oh, yeah, we know him. He was a wonderful guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was a humanist. He loves the nature, and uh, he really wants to know a biologist, but he don't have that in the university here in Loja, mm. and he um, studied for a lawyer, <laughs> ah. but he loves uh, animals and plants and everything. Yeah. Biologist, lawyer, you know. <laughs> yeah, very different, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but in that time they, they don't have a chance to, to study what they want. <laughs> yeah. So Raquel's mother is still living, uh, thank the Lord, and she's actually here at the retreat yeah. today. Yeah. And how old is she now? 91 years old. Oh my goodness, 91 <laughs> years old. Yeah. And tell me her name again, I always forget. My mom? Yes. Ines. 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 Like, like Inez, but Ines. Uh, yeah. yeah. See. See. Wonderful. So Raquel, um, how long have you owned this property here? This is a very nice finca, and I don't remember how many hectares you have here. Uh, we have 15, uh, uh, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 yeah, hectares. 15 yeah. hectares, and um, we have this uh, approximately 13 years or 14 years. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. And so did you build the house, or was it already here? Uh, the house is already here, but... Uh, we remodeling and mix and, and other things and made all the other spaces, the swimming pool, the pergolas, this doyo, and yeah. Wow, wow. So, and what she has here is she has, how many rooms do you have? The house have uh, six rooms. It's about uh, 16 people. Uh, we can come in to stay. Um, and uh, if you have more people, maybe we can put a, a carpas, how you say, for... For a tent for a, camping? A tent yeah. for camping, yeah. And uh, now is that. Maybe in the future we can make another spaces, yeah. So these rooms she has, too, they have ensuite baths. Yeah, exactly. So each yeah. room has a shower and bath. Yeah, and all, the, all the rooms have nice a... Nice and private. A, a, bathroom and it's private and it's perfect yeah <laughs> and you'll see in uh, some of the pictures and video here that 
Um, it's very, very nicely furnished, very, very nice accommodations. Mm -hmm. um, definitely good quality, in my opinion. <laughs> Thank um, you very much. <laughs> yes. And this yoga chalet that we're in is just fantastic. We'll do some video of this before we leave, but um, you can see the mountains behind us. This is what yeah. you look at when you do <laughs> yoga in the chalet. It's just a beautiful view. And the greenery, I mean, you've got bamboo and bananas and sugar cane and every type of fruit. Yeah, every type of fruit. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of kind of fruits, some uh, in the special citrix, orange, uh, mandarina, um, pomelo, I don't know the name in English. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, we have uh, apples too. It's not so good because the the climate, the tiempo is not, not so good for, for that. But uh, we have chirimoya, banana, yeah. um, uh, guanabana, guayaba. Oof, a lot. Wow. Café, mucho café. Mucho café, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lots of coffee plants <laughs> growing here. Lots of here. coffee, yeah. She and I had the same problems with our apple trees. It doesn't get really cold enough for our apples to do exactly. real well. Yeah. Um, we do get some, but they stay small. Yeah. And the birds and the yeah. bugs love them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So we share. Is it, yeah. <laughs> share with the birds and the bugs. Yeah. And papaya. We have papaya, too. Papaya. Yeah. And the uh, cherimoya, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, in certain parts of the world, that's called a sugar apple uh -huh. or a custard apple. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have um, a sapote, too. Sapote is a sapote, kind of yeah. fruit, a very delicious. It's kind of hairy uh, looking yeah, on the outside. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's orange inside yeah. and it's very sweet, delicious. Very nice. And pomarosas. Pomarosas. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, chayote. You have chayote. chayote. Uh, nispero, mango. Oof. A, a lot of fruits. Mis Pedro is a uh, avocados, avocados. Avocados. Yeah, you have some quite I have nice a, avocados. I think I have five or six kind of different avocados here. Oh, wow, my, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you have the mantequilla, the yeah, butter avocado. Yeah, like this size to this size. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> You've got them all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've been here about three times, and, and I just find new things every time we come. <laughs> she, down below here toward the sugarcane fields, she has these really nice big grapefruit mm -hmm. down there. And yeah. I snuck one home the other day and pulling seeds from it so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I can you. plant my own grapefruit trees. Yeah. So this is all a wonderful place. So let me ask you, you what, what kind of people come to visit you and stay here with you? Well, um, we are open for all the people. It's, I don't have uh, nothing with that. Uh, uh, Sometimes it's coming uh, families with the small children to the grandma and grandfather and um, to stay here to reunions for uh, all the family. Sometimes they have the celebrations to the bear, uh, happy birthdays or something. And another times I have for people for retreats. Uh, we have people from Italy, from uh, United States. They come in for retreats to healthy, to um, uh, raw food, or um, they come in for just tourism and just coming to, to walk or look around or look at the birds. Lots of birds. Love. Lots of birds. You can hear them in the background. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, any kind of people. It's, it's so open to any kind of people. people from all walks of life for yeah. different interests, for everything yeah. from just enjoying the wildlife. Yeah. This is a very peaceful, tranquil place. Exactly, yeah. Um, a lot of people are familiar with, you know, Ishkaluma, Hosteria, which is a very interesting, very unique place. This place is, is about 25 minutes from Bilcabamba, so it is really peaceful and tranquil out here. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's not a, there's not a lot of noise from the highway or anything mm -hmm. like that. We're pretty good ways from the highway, and the river is down this way. Yeah, about, it's about uh, uh, 500 metros. Um, 10 metros. No, 500. Oh, okay. Uh, like so about a, 100 meters. Yeah, 100 meters. It's a very good river. It's uh, it's uh, nice. Uh, the water is clean, and it's so beautiful to go to 
make a deep enough to go uh, yeah. kick your feet in. Yeah, and, and now we have a little space to make a temascal, and oh. uh, yeah, it's a very nice near to the river. To make mezcal. Mezcal, yeah. <laughs> I know where I'm coming when that's ready. <laughs> no, not to make mezcal. It's a temascal. It's oh. this kind of um, ceremony from uh, Central of America, from Mexico, um, with vapor, with uh, like a sauna. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not like an ayahuasca ceremony, no, but it's, no, it's, it's or not San ayahuasca. Pedro. No, it's different. No, it's different. Yeah. It's like a sauna. ¿Cómo es? Baño. No, eso, eso ya salió muy mal. Eh, sauna, sí, ¿verdad? Es vapor. Yeah, like a sauna, yeah. Es vapor, sí. Yeah. Like a sauna. Like a sauna. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not anything that's harmful. Or... But it's, it's, with, it's some kind of ceremony. It's, it's not just a sauna. You need to go with some kind of ritual to with a shaman. And uh, you don't drink nothing. You don't need to drink that, nothing. It's just a, a in, introspection uh, to the mother heart. It's so beautiful. It's, it's very interesting. So yeah. Raquel is saying she brings in a shaman to conduct mm -hmm. this ceremony, yeah. and it's all about introspection and mm -hmm. about uh, looking into your soul mm -hmm. and finding out more about yourself and and um, and understanding Mother Earth mm -hmm. and exactly uh, how we connect with the Earth. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Very uh, very spiritual ceremony, if you mm -hmm. will. Yeah. yeah, it's very spiritual. Yeah. And uh, we have these areas. This is for yoga or meditation. Uh, we have the swimming pool for um, exercise, just not for enjoying. Yeah, it's a lap pool. Yeah, what it's we a, call lap a lap pool. pool. And uh, we have the pergolas too. And uh, we have a little forest near between the house. And uh, we have bees. Bees, yeah. yeah. Honey bees. A house of bees. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we have well, our uh, honey. <laughs> the pergolas are places that are shady places you can sit and, um, you know, have a barbecue or just mm -hmm. sit and visit with the family and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, visit with other people. Exactly. And, yeah. and yeah, it's it's a nice thing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. your pool, is that salt water or is that chlorine? It's uh, with salt water. Uh, just uh, a li sometimes we need a little little uh, chlorine. chlorine not too much so not too much chlorine yeah, yeah. a lot of people like that yeah okay so raquel um if uh if people want to book this and come stay here um they should reach out to you yes mm -hmm. yeah. okay so we're going to put in the description box there'll be uh, ways to get a hold of raquel there will be a Vimeo video um, of the property, which is really a nice video. Mm -hmm. There will be her Instagram page. You can reach out to her there. You can reach out to her on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, I have Facebook. So I'll have that Facebook address there, too. And so uh, if you decide that this is something you'd like to do, I'm sure Raquel can arrange, um, you know, cabs to the airport to come and bring you mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And uh, it, the airport rides about 45 minutes to Vilcabamba. And then this is another 25 minutes yeah. from Vilcabamba. Mm, I think a, a little more. A little ja, more. Uh, an hour, an hour and a hour half. Hour to, to the To the Vilcabamba, to the airport. Yeah. 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 Depends on, it depends on whether or not I'm driving. <laughs> if I'm driving, it's less than an hour. <laughs> oh, my God. No. I don't go with you in the car. You don't car. go with me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lisa doesn't like to go with me either. <laughs> so, yeah, she can arrange all of that and... Um, you know, while you're here, if you want to do horseback riding and uh, go to the waterfalls yeah. outside of Vilcabamba and Yambarara, yeah. that's available to, as well. There's hikes and there's just so much to do here. But yeah. I probably would never leave this spot. This is such <laughs> a wonderful place. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Raquel, Jim. thank you again no. so much. <laughs> and um, thank you folks for watching. We are just so humbled that so many people have tuned in and subscribed. And so many of you have hit the notification bell. And uh, we really appreciate that. That way you can see our upcoming videos uh, when they come out. And we just thank you uh, from the bo bottom of our hearts. And if you have questions, um, please put them in the description box down below. And uh, Raquel can get back to you or I'll get back to you. And uh, we'll try to answer your questions to the best of our ability. 
God bless. We'll see you next time. <laughs>